English voters, we believe, deserve one document clarifying in black and white what they can expect. So in the northwest, there are upgrades to the M6 and the M62. In the east, backing for industries like offshore energy and agritech. In Yorkshire, a focus on advanced manufacturing and financial services. In the southeast, easing congestion by improving transport links in and out of London. There's £4.5 billion in transport investment in the northeast. More enterprise zones in the West Midlands. In London, there's cross rail to be finished. And in the southwest, the A303 to be jeweled. In the East Midlands, over 270,000 apprenticeships are going to be created. On the NHS, our guarantee is to increase spending in England every year and to provide seven days a week access to your GP and to continue to invest in our life-saving cancer drugs fund. If English MPs do not have the right to vote on health and education in Scotland, why should Scottish MPs have the right to determine what happens in English hospitals and English schools? Why should, why should? Why should a member of parliament be able to determine something which will not personally affect them or their constituents, but which affects the lives of millions of others? How is that fair?